Okay. Whenever you're ready, I'll close the door. When you're done, you just come out here, okay? Do your thing, man. Hey, start over, though. Okay. Oh, hello, and welcome to Fairy Tale Bedtime Stories. My name is Liam Phillips, and I have a special surprise for you tonight, kids. I will be telling you any minute the story about a young girl who is kind-hearted but gets bossed around by one mean stepsister and two mean ugly stepsisters. You do like stories, don't you? Oh good, I do too. All right, I call three, two, one, action. All right, action. You ready for this, Liam? Yes. Let's do it. Stand up, we follow you down the hallway. Wherever you shall lead us. Liam, tell them where you're going. <laughs> Boots. Jack and the Beanstalk. Sleeping Beauty. George and the Dragon. Princess and the Pea. Time for a party break. <laughs> Okay, go ahead. Never stop believing in faith, love, hope, kindness, wisdom, and justice. And also, never stop believing in fairy tales and fantasy. Because if you stop believing and start growing up, things might get worse. But if you start believing and stop growing up, anything becomes possible. Thank you. Who is your inspiration? You mean who is my inspirer? Mm -hmm. My inspirer is my mother. Well, Liam is a, my son, and he mm -hmm. is more than that. He's just like the most amazing human that I know. So that's my Liam. Um, you know, Liam is every day that he wakes up, he is kind thoughtful, and he is always thinking about how to be someone who's really, really special. Sometimes I, I like to read books because it teaches me to be kind to others, give my love a, ch give love a chance, and to always be kind to others because kindness and goodness can triumph over evil and selfishness and cruelty. This year is his last year, and I don't know what I'm going to do without him next year. Yeah, uh, Liam is one of my all-time favorite students um, for many reasons. Uh, he can make you laugh on your worst day. Um, I've had him for four or five years now, and he's just got a big heart for always wanting to help people and uh, just serve other people. Um, like I said, he, I think he can make anybody laugh, and I think if you ask the majority of the students or teachers when he's walking down this hallways that, that he's definitely a bright spot and he's probably one of the you know most liked students at this school just because of his outgoing personality. I would have to say one day in PE Liam decided to dance and sing for us. Do you remember what the song was? We had Coach Masters phone out. Do you remember what the song was? I think it was a Frank Sinatra song. That was my probably my favorite memory of Liam because he just let loose. Um, in the past, Liam could be very serious, and so just to see that goofy side come out and he was having fun, it was really, really fun to see. Uh, well, once again, it's perseverance. He never gives up. He keeps on trying. Uh, he's always uh, very happy and very optimistic. Uh, that actually flows into the rest of the class, too. They get optimistic also. Uh, he has no problem at all taking uh, direction as far as how to do a technique, and he really pays attention to detail. I knew he was coming to Lakeside. I knew, I actually taught his older sister, and so we began a, a friendship outside of school, but I knew he was gonna be a Lakeside student, so I already had, was drawn to Liam. And I met Liam, um, actually the year before he came to my fifth grade homeroom class. Miss Preston had came to me, um, 
I was about to have a science camp and she wanted him to be able to come and experience that and meet me and just, you know, see if we clicked. And he came to science camp and we clicked and he had fun. And then uh, that following fall, he came and was in my homeroom. <laughs> Liam is, uh, he genuinely likes people and is kind. He is funny. He is intelligent. He's creative. He is loyal to his family. He's very loyal to his friends. He's a good son. He's a good brother. Of Liam, I just, I just think of love. <laughs> I do. It it it's very complicated. <laughs> Tell her what college you do. Liam. What college is it? I, I I got accepted to Jonesboro by the cha by the university chancellor. That's awesome! Oh my goodness! And after I graduate college, I hope to work for one person, Who? and that is the legendary Maxwell Blade. Yes, that is right up your alley. Good, yeah. good. Adrian. Adrian, nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you. Hey, Grayson. How's it going, guys? So, so Liam, he's in the uh, the library. Yeah. And I'm kind of wanting to get his reaction whenever you walk in the library. And there's some glass on some windows that he can see you through. I like to get children's books, but mom says I, I should get a good books. But sometimes children's books bring back the memories. Hey, hey, yeah. Chase. Um, we were hoping it would be. Hey, Maxwell. <laughs> <laughs> ah, buddy. How are you? <laughs> they caught you off it, guard, didn't it, they? It, it, oh no, it, it, it's it's okay, Maxwell Blade. Oh, Maxwell Blade. Um, it, it's it's okay if it, it's okay. Is it still okay if I get a job at at your theater? Sir. Yeah, we're, we're going to have to ask a few questions first. Can we do that? Yes, sir. Do you want a job with me? Yes, sir. Would you like to work? Yes, sir. Can we be on time? Uh, if, uh, what, what, what time, what time should I arrive? Whatever time you want. So yes, you're sir. always on time. So, 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 so what are my jobs you have for me? What do you want to do? I, I, I could be stage assistant, manager, janitor, and anything, sir. Could you do all of them? <laughs> Good. When do I start? <laughs> I live about two hours. <laughs> I'll tell you what, we'll do an interview? Yeah. Yeah, let's. Oh, that'd be lovely. You're going to interview me, right? Yes, sir. All the time, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. On three. One, two, three, and. Maxwell Blade, j just tell us your first name, your last name, and how to spell it, please. Okay. My name is Maxwell Blade. M A X W E L L. Blade, B L A D E. Yes. Liam, I didn't even put makeup on today. <laughs> I normally have a makeup put on and everything. Yeah. I look real pretty. That's because you only need to be yourself, Mr. Blake. Yeah, I know, that's true. But you know, on the camera, you sometimes you gotta... Yes, sir. I gotta look younger. Yes, sir. Do you know, do you know how old I am? Um, my I best guess would be you could be in your early 80s or 70s. <laughs> close enough. It's pretty close, but yeah. 60s, right, on the money there. Yes, but, sir. oh. I <laughs> know. Please put that in. I'm thinking you're at least 50 yourself, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right, if you had one thing you could tell the whole world, what would it be, Liam? To never stop believing in fairy tales, to never stop believing in their dreams, and to never stop believing. Because if they stop believing, things might get worse. And can't they see that the children's ability to imagine and dream what they can dream of are important to us? I think that too. But I think they should keep on believing in fairy tales. Okay. Because fairy tales teach us valuable lessons that kind and good can triumph over evil. Happily ever after. The end. So did you like my story, kids? Good, and I'm always glad to hear that you always like my story. Chase and Adrian, I just want to say thank you for filming my documentary about me. Well, not just about me, about those who love me back and, and who I love back too. And I just want to say thank you and good day.
talk about his dedication to go to school and how he runs to the bus every day. Yeah, it was just like he says he runs to the bus every day. Um, have you ever seen that? Well, first of all, it's what's funny is I told you how consistent Liam is. The funniest thing is, is he wakes up on his own, gets ready, makes his own breakfast, and I try to help him, and he always does it on his own. But the as soon as he waits for the bus, he runs out and couldn't be more excited to head to school. Your favorite Temple Leavers Club? It, well, you know, fame and fortune don't matter as much. Right. What does Brandon Brosworth always say? Brandon Brosworth? What does he always say? Our loss is great, but God, God is, is greater. greater. Can I go? They made tonight a very special night by learning to always be brave and never let any stranger inside your house. And there's nothing that I love about you. And I know that you may look different on the outside, but you are kind and beautiful on the inside. Good night.